Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTalker.com and welcome to my latest video. I'm here to do an unboxing and first impressions. Just put my camera down here for one second. And I'm still wearing the glasses because I'm still jet lagged and I, I feel like I, I look very tired and sleepy perhaps. So I'm gonna keep on wearing these sunglasses. But I'm gonna do an unboxing. I just got some stuff in from Chrome Industries. And you're gonna see me doing more bag reviews because first of all, I just love bags. I think they're a great investment for those that are not just into photography, but I guess growing up traveling all the time, I knew the value of good travel gear and having good bags. And so um, it's great to be working with a brand like Chrome. Thank you guys. Thank you, Cisco and the rest of the team. And uh, they sent me this one thing I really wanted to review. And then they just threw in some other stuff for me to check out. So I'm pretty darn excited. I don't even, let's let's actually look at the thing that I wanted to review. Actually, uh, the let's, let's just start open up stuff. Uh, the first thing is, uh, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I, 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 you guys know I love shoes. I love sneakers, I love dress shoes, and I love you doing my shoes and cameras thing. And uh, I actually do really enjoy the Chrome sneakers. Uh, I love their, their 415 work series, and I love that they give stickers like Apple. They sent me, so back in the fall, they sent me the black pair of these. These are called like, I should put it down in the notes, like 415 something. What are they called? Let me just look it up here. They must have it here. Storm 415 work boot. And this is in their, kind of their brown leather. And I love this kind of this little, uh, this contrast here. So the other colorway was black on this kind of rubbery beige. And this is brown on that. And, and I like going between like sneakers are very comfortable. Uh, and very functional, but maybe not as stylish. And and when I'm out with Camera Girl, or if I'm out in the cold, and that's kind of why I wanted to check out their other, the black, uh, uh, the work boot, because for the winter, shooting in the cold, and then when I went to Toronto, Montreal, I got them to send me their, their merino wool socks, which are wool socks, but because they're merino, they're very thin, as well as they're antibacterial, so you don't need to change them every day. And in the cold, they keep your feet warm, and then when it's hot, it keeps your feet cool, so, it's like magic, right? Thank you so much. So you'll see these uh, boots uh, coming up in a upcoming shoes and cameras. And I'm excited. I, I really have that nice new shoe uh, smell. Uh, having good shoes when you're out doing photography is really important for your feet, orthopedic health, for your foot health. And so uh, uh, these are stylish cool as well as good for your feet and keep your feet warm and dry in the winter. So that's one of the things. The other, this is their, um, part of their classic Citizen messenger bag. And this is kind of what first attracted me towards Chrome. Cause you saw the, the cool bike couriers in town. You know, they always had the, the, the Chrome, the Chrome bags. And this is, there's the Citizen bag that's been their, signature for, I don't know, the past, since they first started. And this is their Tokyo edition. I think that's what they called it. The, here we go, you can see that. The the Tokyo Neon. And I'm not, not sure if that's kind of a play on because I'm doing my Hong Kong Neon, but this is the Tokyo Neon and it has kind of like the, the sparkles, kind of sparkles on here. And uh, looks really cool. Now I do find when you are wanting to carry a decent amount of stuff, this is a great size bag. And one of the signatures of their bags is that they do have a built-in um, bottle opener on their on their um, connection here. And this is kind of their signature, right, for Chrome, is that they have a, a sort of a seat belt kind of a connection in the middle here. So when you put it on, it's across your body like this, and you have it like this, you got a seat belt. And then they have the cross body right here. So this kind of goes underneath your arm here for stability. All right, so this is kind of on my back with nothing in it yet. All right, so I'm gonna look forward to, to testing this out and about and very well made. I have, always has been, not the biggest fan of Velcro as I always tell, but again, this is designed so that as you expand and you put more in it, this, this one strip across here allows these two little bars. And then they have a nice little storage section in the front 
And then on the inside, uh, on the front half, it's kind of an isolated area in the front here. And oftentimes what they would show is that this back part, the main body part, is completely sealed off. So if you want to put wet items or, or something like a towel or an extra pair of sneakers or something, you put it in the front section and then you can then Velcro it shut and it keeps it separate from the main body section in here. And this is a lot of room. Like you could just, I could kind of, this is, this is Big Head Taco's head could fit in here. At least three of my heads could fit inside here. And so, uh, again, like I said, it, it does, it, it's, it's, a, it's a large size bag for, um, for a messenger. I like it a little bit smaller, but if you are hauling some serious stuff, this is the kind of size you want to carry. And so, thank you Chrome for sending me out Cisco. Thank you for sending me this uh, Tokyo Neon limited edition color here. All right, and uh, you'll be seeing me testing this. But now let's get to what I actually wanted to review. Not that I don't want to review this or the sneakers, but uh, what I asked for, because I said, hey, that looks pretty cool. Can you send it out to me? And it is this here. It's part of their Nico line, and it's the, the camera insert. And so a lot of you guys know, uh, you know, Chrome bags, the majority of their bags are not camera bags, and yet you see me using it as a camera bag. And the Nico... This is the camera sling and I did a review on this and this actually, Chrome said they sold out. And uh, I even saw someone in Hong Kong with this one, although he converted the strap to something else. Uh, but uh, I, I, this is a great uh, six liter size, uh, all day kind of um, when I'm out with camera girl, my wife, and I just want to carry like one camera, one lens, an iPad, uh, my DOP kit, things like that. This is just the right uh, five liter, six, six liter, five liter? I think it's five liter size. And there's a lot of design cues. And in my video, I'll put the link down below, explain why I like this bag. And so this is part of that Nico line. And this is the, the, the insert, the Nico case insert. What do they call it here? Nico camera insert case. And so you can convert any bag into a camera bag once you put this inside. So this is kind of cool. One of the things I, I, I appreciated was that it did have a, a top closure. So if you did need to seal it up, even within the bag that you have it in, you can't just pull up on this drawstring and then you can protect all the camera coming in here. It is larger than I thought it would be, which is a good thing. Do you give you their, their stickers, which I collect now. I like their stickers, put them on things. Cause that's just what I do. And it does have a kind of a, a strapping system here. So if you do have a bag and you can sort of attach this and stabilize this in something, especially if you use like a, a Molly strap system, if you have a, a like a, some of those uh, more military type kind of bags that this could fit and then be attached to something really stable. And you have another little section in the front here as well. And then in here, this is like, I guess the one sort of uh, criticism I'll give, and this is not just with Chrome, but any bag, is when you have a bag that's black on black on black, it just, it's a black hole in here. You can't really see what's happening. It'd be nice if they used a lighter, like a light gray on the inside, so it's easier to see. So just a tip, not just for Chrome, but for everyone. It seems like a lot of brands, uh, one brand that actually does a good job is Herschel, which is actually a Vancouver backpack company. And those guys do have like contract, like it's a black bag, but inside is like kind of a candy stripe. So it's easier to see what's inside, but you get two major dividers in here. This is a, the Fujifilm GA645 medium format camera and it easily fits inside here. So this can hold probably three full cameras or you could definitely uh, hold a DSLR if you wanted to put one in here, but then you'll have to kind of move these. So you have two major partitions in here, and then you can just see how easily this kind of, like, in fact, I can slip it in almost sideways. I can't though, it has to kind of go vertically this way. So it could hold quite a bit and it's quite deep. So even if you have subdividers, like uh, lens holders, lens pouches, you could probably shove it in here. And um, I was gonna test it with a bag this is a, a, a bag company called Logel, and they just recently sent this. Uh, they're known for their, I think it's a Japanese brand. They're known for their luggage. And so they asked me if I wanted to review this backpack. And I thought it was cool because uh, they actually have storage on the front flap 
The problem with backpacks is everything seems to sink to the bottom. I like these backpacks that have the front pocket that doesn't start up too high because everything just sinks to the bottom. You're always searching for stuff. So having it this partial this way is great. Has a dedicated iPad laptop section in the back and an expansion slot here. So you can actually expand it just a little bit thicker. And with these things, you can convert them into camera bags. But like I said, I think this is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit too wide. It won't fit inside this way like this. Maybe one thing's Chrome, you can make two versions of this. Maybe one that's just maybe two inches uh, less wide and then this side will fit in a larger type bag. So in fact, this will probably fit easily inside this uh, Citizen Messenger. If you put this inside here and now you have a dedicated, with a lot of room as well because these Messenger bags have two big side pockets on the inside, on both sides. So you could put water bottles and stuff. And then down the middle, you put something like this inside. And now here's your camera bag inside your messenger bag. And just my first impressions, like I said, I haven't actually used it yet. So uh, look for it. And also there's a little front zippered area. And it's just one kind of a large pouch, but you could probably put stuff like filters and memory cards and things like that along the front here. But lots of space in here, in fact, it's enough space that I think I could probably take some of these inserts from other bags and then put it in here and subdivide it even further. So that's my first look of the sneakers, this insert, as well as the neon messenger bag. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll get back to you once I've finished reviewing these bags and look for more bag reviews, all right? And we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Peace.